Man, 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 I'm a connoisseur, man. I love restaurants, man. But some restaurants, man, just ain't, you know, they, they not hitting it, man. Like, you, you ever been to a restaurant where you had to go back and get change your order? You ever been to a restaurant, you ever done that? I went into one, man, a whole lot of celebrities was in that, man. And they told me, man, the restaurant was owned by Zell, right? And I didn't know who he was talking about, Zell. What do you mean, Zell? Right? Come to find out that Denzel Washington owned the place, man. I said, well, Denzel Washington owned this place? <laughs> Shit, man, if Denzel owned this place, man, tell Denzel to get out of here now because my order messed up. He came at me not like the nice Denzel. He didn't come at me like, you know, John Q or Malcolm X. He came at me raw, like training day. <laughs> he came out just like this. <laughs> uh -huh. But which seems to be the problem? The problem is, man, I didn't get no hot sauce and no mild sauce, dog. Can you help me out? You didn't get any hot sauce and mild sauce. Is what you telling me? Huh? That's what you telling me? You didn't get no hot sauce and mild sauce? Mm-hmm. I tell you what, let's see what's in the bag. Oh, shit. My nigga. Uh-huh, you got six pieces of wings, you got fries, you got bread, you got cold slaw, but you don't have no hot sauce or mild sauce, huh? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in the back, all right? I'm gonna go in the back. If the receipt says you didn't get any hot sauce or mild sauce, I'm guaranteed to go into my pocket and pay you back your money, my dollar. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Right, and another big actor was there. I didn't know that was there. Morgan Freeman, he came out. He gave the old Joe Clark lean on me speech, right? He came, well, I seems to be the problem. That's how I go to my office right now. Son, what seems to be the problem? Can't you read the goddamn sign, son? The goddamn sign says, hot sauce and mild sauce with your meal, son. Are you trying to pull something, son? I remember you, one of them smart college kids. You used to go back and forth with your history just like you're going right now. You want to come in and jump on everybody because your forefathers been ran and chased by homes. Well, that might not be living, but it sure as hell ain't buying. Buying is what these folks been doing going on three years. Buying, buying is buying about a thousand. Buying from us, fool. I should know because I'm the one that dropped the grease. I'll be back. I'm standing right there, him and Denzel get into an argument. I can't, I can't, this is a fantasy. He's like, Denzel, I need to speak to you. About what? <laughs> Third time this week, Denzel, somebody came at you. Mr. Sams, bring all the managers inside, Mr. Sams. Take the chains out the door. Denzel, I'm, we have to end the partnership, Denzel, right now, expeditiously. Come on, Denzel, pack up and get your stuff out of here right now. You want me to leave, huh, Morgan? You want me to leave just like that? You want me to pack up my stuff and leave? Huh? Yeah. Uh-huh, I train you. See, I train you disloyal, fool-ass, bitch man, nigga. That's how they gonna treat you? Yeah, ah, uh, you motherfuckers, okay. All right, uh-huh, I'm putting cases on all you managers, huh? You think you can do this? Hey, yo, come back here, I got your money. You think you can do this to me? You managers will be frying chicken in Pelican Bay when I get finished with you. Yeah, Crisco Oil Program, brother. 23 hour lockdown. You will never see the light of day. Who the fuck do you think I am? I'm the one that got this place started. You just got here. That's right, Morgan. I said I'm the one that got the place started. You just got here. You just got here. Uh huh, yeah. <laughs> My nigga. My nigga. And Chris Rock was on the fries. He was like, God damn, I can't believe you had to get rid of motherfucking Denzel Washington. I can't believe it. Bernie, can you believe it? Man, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with these motherfuckers today. They don't lost their motherfucking mind. These motherfuckers want some hot sauce and motherfucking mild sauce. That's my time, Rachel Race. Thank you, Brooklyn, New York. Thank you.